EA Sports. It's in the game. Sit back and enjoy as we bring you one of the greatest sporting spectacles on earth. The Super Bowl is underway. It's the biggest game in America, the Super Bowl, as the Pittsburgh Steelers take on the Packers. 
The Packers are hosting here and want to be able to keep the home field advantage going as we get ready for this one. Chris, what is the key in this matchup? Well, Gus, I think you said it best, home field advantage. This team needs to come out and rally early to get the fans on their side. If you have thousands of fans screaming and cheering, you feed off of that and you can turn it into some positive stuff on the field. This should be a great game in this one. All right, Chris, with that in mind, it's game time, and we've got two teams really ready to rumble. Sweesham gets set to kick it away. And takes off from his own goal line. Spaeth was there to bring him down. And from the University of Cal Berkeley, onto the field steps the seventh-year quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. They'll go to work at the 27-yard line. First down, 10 to go. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Let's take a look at the key players now. The chief among them is Greg Jennings out of Western Michigan, who has emerged as the go-to guy of this offense. Yeah, there's a lot of talent out there, especially among the wide receivers, and yet you're right, Gus. Greg Jennings has emerged as the favorite target because of his ability to catch any ball. He can go deep, and he can go get those tough catches over the middle as well. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. The stop was made by Donald Driver. And here comes Big Ben Roethlisberger out of Miami of Ohio. Now in his eighth season, a two-time Super Bowl champion. And we'll have a first down and ten. Mendenhall gets the ball. On offense, this is a team that plays smart, consistent, team-oriented football, and the result is one of the league's best attacks, and the leader is, of course, a future Hall of Fame player, wide receiver Hines Ward out of Georgia that shows no signs of slowing down. Yeah, and what's amazing about Hines Ward is that with all of his success, he still prides himself on catching the toughest balls in the toughest situations and perhaps the greatest blocking wide receiver the game has ever seen. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Defensively, this is a unit that is all about balance. From the guys up front to the guys in the secondary, it's a unit that is just solid. And it's led by free safety Nick Collins out of Bethune-Cookman College, who has become a perennial pro bowler. You know, safeties are a lot of times the generals of the secondary, and Nick Collins is one of the best. He has great instincts for anticipating where a play is going and continually shows terrific closing speed. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. First down and goal. Two yards to the end zone. Mendenhall on the run. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Only a couple yards from the score. Throws to his right. It's almost picked off. Big situation coming up. Tie game. Third and goal from the two. Mendon. 
Dean Hall. Again. At the end of the first quarter, it's knotted up. Welcome back to Green Bay. Go kick this one from the 10, a 20-yard attempt. He splits the uprights. Sean Schwiesem knocks it through and gives them a three-point lead. Pittsburgh gets ready to kick it away. Shields is back to receive the kick. Taken from the three-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Emmanuel Sanders was there for the stop. They'll take over at the 22-yard line. First down and 10. He's searching for a receiver. Makes a spectacular one-handed grab. Fumble out of bounds. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. They tackle him for a loss. The Packers are not doing a good job at all on the ground so far. They need to somehow get that turned around because if you can't run it, boy, it is tough to throw the football. It's a second and 11 situation here. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Lawrence Timmons was there to bring him down. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. Two minutes to go in the half. Has a man short to his left. Very risky pass. You never want to try and throw the ball across your body like that. Players in this league will come up with interceptions on that one. It's fourth down. The Packers ready to punt this one away. He bounces out of bounds at the 22. And they already have the lead. This field position could set them up to put even more points on the board. They'll set up shop at the 22-yard line. It's first and 10. Here's a pass over the middle. Morgan Burnett was there for the stop. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. First down, 10 to go. And looks left. Throws. Nick Collins was there to bring him down. And we'll have a first down and 10. Passes out to the left. 
And the tackle was made by Nick Collins. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set them up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Has a man out to his right. Completes it, and he's still perfect on the drive. It's always kind of funny to think about with all the big guys that play the game of football, sometimes it's the little wide receivers that scare you the most. Looking, fires it to the left. Comes down with it. Touchdown! Heinz Ward has so much ability and he's well utilized really in this offense. He's a hard receiver to cover and there's really a certain toughness about him. He's going to fight you for position and for the ball. Sweesham is good on the point after. Sweesham looks ready to kick it away. Shields is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. Gets it to the 21. James Ferrier was there for the stop. The offense will start at the 21-yard line. First down and 10. Give to the tailback. The stop was made by James Harrison. And as we head to halftime, our score is 10 nothing. Welcome back to Green Bay. Pittsburgh will get the ball to begin the second half. And the tackle was made by Shields. They'll start at the 29-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ops for a short throw. The stop was made by Nick Barnett. They gained five on the play. Sometimes those quick slants don't look like too much, but if you break one tackle against man coverage, it could be a home run. Second down and five to go. Ball on their own 34. Has a man to his right. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. Third and five right here. Ball on their own 34. He throws short. And the tackle was made by A.J. Hawk. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. Fires a laser down the middle. He's dropped down at about the 41 by Williams. 
And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Looking for a big gain down the middle. The stop was made by Morgan Burnett. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why you establish the run, and then you come with the play-action pass. Just so hard to defend. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. Gives it up the gut. And the tackle was made by Charles Woodson. A pickup of about three. Second and seven situation here. So we'll head to the fourth with our score. The Steelers, 10. The Packers, nothing. Welcome back to Green Bay. They're looking at a second and seven. Ball on the 21-yard line. Dumps it out right. Nick Barnett was there to bring him down. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. Looks right. Throws. Well, I think he would have needed a jackhammer to get that one in there. That was tight coverage. The offense sets up eight yards away from the end zone here. He's going to his right. Throws. As a quarterback, you have to go through your reads. That was his first look on that play, and he shouldn't have stayed with it that long. That was a bad decision. And they need just eight for the score. Mendenhall, the ball carrier, runs through the defender, and he's in. And that score will really hamper any chance for them to come out of here with a victory. Yeah, just when the defense really needed a stop there, they couldn't get the job done, but you have to give it to the offense. They did what they had to do. Extra point is good. We're nearing the two-minute warning in the fourth. The Steelers, 17. The Packers, nothing. Sean Schwiesem is ready to kick this one off. Shields stands back to field the kick. We'll get our first flag of the game. He stopped at the 24-yard line. James Ferrier was there for the stop. That seemed like a pretty obvious hold. Yeah, sometimes you have holding and sometimes you have tackling. That was a pretty good form tackle right there. He goes down. Sack. The quarterback had no chance on that play. Talk about raw determination by the defender to get into the backfield. Yeah, not a lot of pretense on that play, huh? He is so strong. It seems like he can bulldoze through these huge offensive linemen almost at will. They're going to need to find a way to double-team him if they ever hope to keep him off their quarterback. And that opens up room for other defenders. Yeah, exactly, and that's another reason why he's so dangerous. You need two guys to shut him down, which allows one of the other defenders to get after the quarterback unblocked. 
Throws it deep. Left side. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Nelson was his intended target. Third down, 14 yards for the first. They break the huddle at their own 10. Short throw to the right. The Tasmanian Devil, Troy Palamalu, was there to bring him down. Well, if that was all they were going to do on third down, they might as well have just kicked it on third down because you're still way far away from picking up a first down, and that just was sort of a give up. Brown takes it at the 43. The stop was made by Papinga. And they're already up big. That return just really puts them into position to make this thing a blowout. They'll go to work at the 41-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Mendenhall gets the call. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. From their own 38-yard line. Runs middle. Running room. Well, they brought the blitz that time. The offensive line did a pretty good job recognizing it. They got the blocks, but the back was still able to get out of there for a nice game. The Steelers played an outstanding game, and in less than a minute, they'll celebrate a sweet Super Bowl win. Dumps it out left. The ball is tipped away. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Looking for a man. He rolls out to the right. Intercepted. And you can really see him baiting the quarterback on that one. He wanted him to believe the receiver was open, but he had it all the way. From their own four-yard line. Steps and throws to the left side. He thinks he hauled it in, but we'll see what the officials say. They're not going to give it to him. Good try. That was a really good try, but let's give the officials credit. They got it right. So they'll face a second and ten. Here's the long bomb. Jennings was the intended receiver. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. Good coverage downfield. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. Brown fields it at the 48. He's going the wrong way. Pepra was there for the stop. And it's pretty apparent that just about everything is working for these guys today. First down and 10. Ball on their own 15. Surveys the field. He needs to get rid of it. 
They give up the safety. I call Can't it lucky number seven. Just the Pittsburgh out. Steelers How are Super Bowl 46 champions. A record seven title and counting. After last year's heart-wrenching Super Bowl defeat, there was little doubt that this talent-rich team was poised to make a repeat run at the NFL's title game. And not only did they return for Super Bowl Sunday, but now they stand at the 50-yard line, raising the coveted Lombardi Trophy. 9, 10, 13, 14, 40, 43, and now 46. All those Super Bowl victories that put them at the absolute top of the NFL. And not just for this season, but for all time. What a thrill for Steeler Nation for these players that are now woven into the rich fabric of this team's storied history alongside some of football's greatest players.